Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera. Topik 2, Manufacturing Cost, Concept and Components, Part 2. In previous video, we have discussed subtopics as follows. The importance of cost information, differences between costs and expenses, Cost classification, manufacturing costs, non-manufacturing costs, direct costs, indirect costs, and product costs and period costs. So, in this video, we will discuss statement of cost of goods manufactured and income statement. The flow of manufacturing costs. Manufacturing activity is to process raw material into finished goods. There are three types of inventories in manufacturing activities. They are Raw material inventories, work in process inventories, and finished goods inventories. For example, in producing tires, the raw material inventories are rubbers. Work in process inventory are works that is in process of converting rubbers into finished goods tire. And Finished goods inventories are tires. Flow of manufacturing costs consists of direct material, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. The process of the flow of costs begins with the Valuing the raw materials used in the manufacturing. The flow of costs next move to the inventory stage where the finished goods are stored until they are sold. Following the sales of the goods, the flow of costs finally move to the cost of goods sold. Now, we will discuss statement of cost of goods manufactured and income statement. Statement of cost of good manufactured is provided for the purpose of calculating the cost of goods that have been completed in the current period. The cost of direct material that included in the computation of manufactured goods is the cost of direct material use. Statement of cost of goods manufactured and income statement. To calculate cost of goods manufactured, direct material use plus direct labor plus manufacturing overhead equals to current manufacturing costs then plus beginning work in process minus ending work in process and equals to cost of goods manufactured now we look at the income statement partially because we only look at the cost of goods sold Beginning finished goods inventory plus cost of goods manufactured equals to cost of goods available for sale minus ending finished goods inventory equals to cost of goods sold.
So the purpose of cost of good manufactured statement is to prepare to compute the cost of finished goods for the current period. Now we look at the cost of goods manufactured statement format. First of all, you have to write down the title. Those are the company's name, the statement, and also the period. In cost of goods manufactured statement, there must be three elements. Those are direct material use, direct label, and manufacturing overhead. To calculate direct material use, for example, beginning raw material inventory plus raw material purchase minus ending raw materials inventory. For direct label, for example, assembly line wages. To calculate total manufacturing overhead, for example, indirect labor, indirect materials, and factory manager's salary. So, you have to sum up direct material use plus direct labor plus total manufacturing overhead. Then, you will get total current manufacturing costs. After that, plus beginning work in process and minus ending work in process. Then you will get cost of goods manufactured. For income statement format, First of all, you have to write down the title. So, write down the company's name, income statement, and also the period. We start with sales net. That means you have to minus the sales discount and also the sales return. You have to do it properly. So, net sales minus with cost of goods sold. In manufacturing, the cost of goods sold is slightly different with cost of goods sold in trading company. Because in manufacturing, there are no purchase in cost of goods sold. So, sales minus cost of goods sold equals to Beginning finish goods inventory plus cost of goods manufactured. The cost of goods manufactured we get from the statement that we have already did before. Then you minus ending finish goods inventory, then you get cost of goods sold. So, sales minus cost of goods sold equals to gross profit or gross loss minus operating expenses such as sales expenses and administrative expenses. Then, you will get net income or net loss. For example 1, Awesome Manufacturing Company has the following cost and expenses data for the months ending March 31, 2018. The data such as accounts receivable, sales, assembly line wages, factory utilities, factory supervisory salaries, plant and equipment, factory taxes, Beginning raw material, ending raw material, beginning finished goods, ending finished goods, beginning work in process, ending work in process.
we continue. Factory maintenance, advertising, raw material purchase, sales commission, accumulated depreciation on plant and equipment, sales expenses, administrative expenses, and depreciation on plant and equipment. Instruction, prepare, cost of goods manufactured statement and income statement. I believe that you can do the cost of goods manufactured statement and income statement. Now we look at the answer. First of all, write down the title. Awesome Manufacturing Company Cost of Goods Manufactured Statement for the months ended March 31st, 2018. We start with direct material. Direct material equals to raw material inventory March 1st, 9,000 plus raw material purchase 20,000 equals to raw materials available for use 29,000 minus raw material inventory March 31st, 11,000. Then total for direct material use equals to 18,000 plus Direct labor that is assembly line wages 22,000 plus manufacturing overhead. Factory utilities 5,000. Factory supervisor salaries 2,000. Factory taxes 2,000. Factory maintenance 4,000. Depreciation on plants and equipment 6,000. So total manufacturing overhead equals to 19,000. So, total direct material use, direct labor and manufacturing overhead, that is total current manufacturing cost equals to 59,000. Then, plus work in process March 1st, 18,000. Total cost of work in process equals to 77,000. And then, Minus work in process March 31st, 8,000. Then the total for cost of goods manufactured equals to 69,000. So, how about income statement? So, first of all, write down the title first. Also manufacturing company income statement for the months ended March 31st, 2018. We start with sales. Sales net 90,000 minus cost of goods sold. Finished goods inventory first March 18,000 plus cost of goods manufactured that we just calculated before 69,000 equals to cost of goods available for sales 87000 minus finished goods inventory 31st march 7000 then cost of goods sold equals to 80000 gross profit that is sales minus cost of goods sold equals to 10000 then minus with Operating expenses, advertising, three thousand sales commission, five thousand sales expenses, twelve thousand, and administrative expenses, ten thousand. Total for operating expenses equals to thirty thousand. Then gross profit ten thousand. Minus operating expenses 30,000, then this company suffer net loss 20,000. With that example, now we already completed our discussion on topics 2 manufacturing costs concept and components. If you like this video, 
please subscribe, like and share. Okay, see you on the next video. Bye.